Good morning, good people. I'm Brother Vittorio from the St. Anthony Friar in Denver. This coming Sunday is uh, the Mission Sunday. The Pope has sent a letter to help us reflect and pray about our missionary call. The theme he presented is uh, from the uh, Gospel parable of the wedding banquet. After the guests have uh, refused uh, the invitation of the king for the wedding feast of his son, the king says uh, to the servants, Go there for to the third of heirs and uh, invite uh, to the marriage feast as many as you find. As uh, is in his style, the Pope divides uh, the statement in three sections. First, go and invite. Jesus chose the twelve apostles to be with him, to send them ahead of him to proclaim his message, with power to drive out demons and heal the sick. He did the same immediately before his ascension, widening their range of action to be the whole world. Therefore, the Church today continues her mission to the ends of the world, never inflated by her uh, successes and never frustrated by the demands of the job. Since uh, the Church is us, every Christian is uh, called to take part in this universal mission. We are uh, sent to be witnesses uh, of the power of the Gospel and invite our fellow men and women to come and taste the sweetness of the Lord. The Pope, though, that's a tragic reality. Today, the drama in the church is that uh, Jesus keeps uh, knocking on the door from uh, within the church so that uh, we will let him out. Often, we end up uh, being uh, his uh, prisoners. Um, we, we end up uh, being an imprisoned church, which uh, does... Uh, not uh, let the Lord out. We keep him uh, within our boundaries as our own, whereas the Lord came for a mission and wants us uh, to be missionaries, that is, uh, to take him out to the streets of the world. The second point is our invitation is to the marriage feast. Pope Benedict XVI wrote, and Pope Francis uh, quotes him, while the world sets before us uh, the various banquets of consumerism, selfish comfort, the accumulation of wealth and individualism, the gospel calls uh, everyone to the divine banquet, marked by joy, sharing, justice, and uh, fraternity in communion with God and with others. After the National Eucharistic Congress, the Church in the United States is now uh, engaged in the third stage of uh, the National Eucharistic Revival, inviting the whole country to the banquet, the Eucharistic banquet. This phase uh, demands uh, much more commitment and perseverance from uh, the whole Church. This uh, so that uh, the Pope uh, asks us uh, to be more aware of the commitment that we make at every Mass. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. It is a proclamation and a profession that uh, needs to be translated into action in our daily life. The third and last uh, part of the theme concerns the recipients of uh, the King's invitation, everyone. The Pope says, this is the heart of the mission, that all, uh, excluding no one, is invited. Everyone we encounter in our life is uh, the target of our mission. We cannot exclude anyone. Likewise, we ourselves are also the mission territory of our brothers and sisters that evangelize us uh, with uh, their message and uh, examples. Let's be open 
to receive their messages and uh, to proclaim it also to others. We Capuchins pray for you and we depend on your prayers. Have a good day.